Burlington is the most populous city in the U.S. state of Vermont and the seat of Chittenden County. It is located 45 miles 72 kilometers south of the Canada-United States border and 94 miles 151 kilometers south of Canada's second most populous city, Montreal. The city's population was 42,452 according to a 2015 U.S. Census estimate. It is the least populous municipality in the United States to be the most populous incorporated area in a state. A regional college town, Burlington is home to the University of Vermont UVM and Champlain College, a small private college. Vermont's largest hospital, the UVM Medical Center, is located within the city limits. The city of Burlington also owns the state of Vermont's largest airport, the Burlington International Airport, in neighboring South Burlington. In 2015, Burlington became the first city in the U.S. to run completely on renewable energy. Topic history Two theories have been put forward regarding the origin of Burlington's name. The first is that it was named after Richard Boyle, 3rd Earl of Burlington, and the second is that the name honors the politically prominent and wealthy Burling family of New York. While no Burling family members are listed as grantees of the town, the family held large tracts of land in nearby towns, some of which were granted on the same day as Burlington. One of the New Hampshire grants, the land that was developed as Burlington was awarded by New Hampshire colonial governor Benning Wentworth on June 7, 1763 to Samuel Willis and 63 others. In the summer of 1775, settlers began clearing land and built two or three log huts, but the outbreak of the American Revolutionary War delayed permanent settlement until after its conclusion. In 1783, Stephen Lawrence arrived with his family. The town was organized in 1785. The War of 1812 was unpopular in Vermont and New England, which had numerous trading ties with Canada. Neither Vermont nor other New England states provided militia units or financial support. Vermont voters supported the Federalist Party, which opposed the war. At one point during the war, the U.S. had 5,000 troops stationed in Burlington, outnumbering residents and putting a strain on resources. About 500 soldiers died of disease, which was always a problem due to poor sanitation in army camps. Some soldiers were quartered in the main building at the University of Vermont, where a memorial plaque commemorates them. In a skirmish on August 2, 1813, British forces from Canada shelled Burlington. This is described as either a bold stroke by the British with an ineffectual response from the Americans, or a weak sally by the British, which was rightly ignored by the Americans. The cannonade lasted about ten minutes and caused no casualties. The American troops involved were commanded by Naval Lieutenant Thomas McDonough, later hero of the Battle of Lake Champlain. The town's position on Lake Champlain helped it develop into a port of entry and center for trade, particularly after completion of the Champlain Canal in 1823, the Erie Canal in 1825, and the Chambly Canal in 1843. Wharves allowed steamboats to connect freight and passengers with the Rutland and Burlington Railroad and Vermont Central Railroad. Burlington became a bustling lumbering and manufacturing center and was incorporated as a city in 1865. Its Victorian-era prosperity left behind much fine architecture, including buildings by Ami B. Young, H. H. Richardson, and McKim, Mead and White. In 1870, the waterfront was extended by construction of the Pine Street Barge Canal. This became polluted over the years and was a focus for cleanup in 2009 under the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency's Superfund program. Topic Late 20th century to present In 1978, the ice cream enterprise Ben & Jerry's was founded in Burlington in a renovated gas station. It became a national brand, with retail outlets in numerous cities. In 2007, the city was named one of the top four places to watch in the United States by the American Association of Retired Persons AARP. The ratings were based on what was perceived as ideal qualities for older residents. Criteria included the factors that make a community livable, new urbanism, smart growth, mixed-use development, and easy living standards. Forbes magazine ranked the city in 2010 as one of the prettiest towns in America, featuring a picture of the Church Street Marketplace on its cover. Geography Burlington is situated on the eastern shore of Lake Champlain, north of Shelburne Bay. 
It was built on a strip of land extending about 6 miles kilometers south from the mouth of the Winooski River along the lake shore, and rises from the water's edge to a height of 300 feet meters. .A large ravine in what is now downtown was filled in with refuse and raw sewage in the 19th century to make way for further development. Neighborhoods <inaudible> 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 Burlington's neighborhoods are generally recognized by residents, but have no legal or political authority. Downtown, the city's commercial hub is north of Maple Street, south of Pearl Street including all properties along Pearl Street, and west of Willard Street. Hill Section, Burlington's wealthiest neighborhood is east of U.S. Route 7 Shelburne Road and South Willard Street and south of U.S. Route 2 Main Street, but excludes UVM and University Terrace, while including all of Champlain College. The hill section is where the Burlington Country Club is situated. The Intervale The Intervale cannot be considered a neighborhood but is a large area encompassing many locally owned organic farms and natural preserves along the Winooski River. It is included on this list because its total area is larger than that of most neighborhoods in Burlington. New North End, Burlington's most populous neighborhood, a northwest suburban extension of the city, includes all points north of Burlington High School, as well as Letty Park and North Beach, and is west of Vermont Route 127 the Burlington Beltline. Old North End, Burlington's oldest and most densely populated neighborhood is north of all properties along Pearl Street, west of U.S. Routes 2 and 7, and is inclusive of areas south and east of the former site of Burlington College but north of downtown and west of the University District. South End, a once mostly industrial and now mostly artistic district south of Maple Street and west of U.S. Route 7 Shelburne Street and South Willard Street, it includes the waterfront Oakledge Park and is home to the headquarters of many of Burlington's nationally known companies like Burton Snowboards and Dealer.com. University District, the University District is east of Willard Street, north of Main Street, and south of Riverside Avenue. Surrounded on three sides by U.S. Route 2, it includes UVM and many once single-family homes converted to student and yuppie apartments although these are everywhere throughout the city limits and metropolitan area. Climate Burlington has a humid continental climate with cold winters and very warm, humid summers. The monthly daily average temperatures range from 18.7 degrees Fahrenheit in January to 70.6 degrees Fahrenheit in July. The annual precipitation of 36.8 inches is well distributed throughout the year, but the summer months are the wettest. The city's location east of Lake Champlain sometimes accounts for localized snow squalls, producing up to 13 inches centimeters in 12 hours on rare occasions. Annual snowfall averages 81.2 inches centimeters, but this figure can fluctuate greatly from one year to another. Extremes have ranged from minus 30 degrees Fahrenheit minus 34 degrees Celsius on January 15, 1957 and February 12, 1979 to 101 degrees Fahrenheit 38 degrees Celsius on August 11, 1944 and July 2, 2018. The most snowfall from a single storm is 33.1 inches .1 centimeters, which fell January 2–3, 2010. For the Northeast United States, a heat wave is defined as having three consecutive days of 90 degrees Fahrenheit 32 degrees Celsius or more. There were six such heat waves from 2000 to 2009. <laughs> Demographics. As of 2016, there were 42,556 people residing in the city. The racial makeup of the city was 85.7% white, 4.9% black or African American, 0.4% Native American, 6.0% Asian, 1.3% Chinese, 1.1% Bhutanese, 0.9% Nepalese, 0.6% Vietnamese, 0.5% Indian, 0.4% Burmese, 0.3% Indonesian, 0.2% Korean, 0.1% Cambodian, 0. 
0.1% Laotian, 0.1% Filipino, 0.1% Japanese, 0.1% Thai, and 2.5% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 2.6% of the population 0.7% Puerto Rican, 0.4% Mexican, 0.3% Dominican, 0.2% Cuban, 0.2% Spanish, 0.2% Colombian, 0.1% Honduran, 0.1% Peruvian, 0.1% Argentine. There were 16,851 households and the average number of persons per household was 2.13. <laughs> Personal income As of the American Community Survey of 2014, the median income for a household in the city was $37,078, and the median income for a family was $61,057. Males had a median income of $30,144 versus $25,270 for females. The per capita income for the city was $25,589. About 16.9% of families and 30.7% of the population were below the poverty line, including 12.5% of those under age 18 and 12.9% of those age 65 or over. For the 4,989 single family owner occupied homes, the median value was $131,200. Health and social services Burlington is home to University of Vermont Medical Center, a tertiary referral hospital for Vermont and the North Country of New York, Level 1 Trauma Center, and Teaching Hospital. In 2006, Burlington was rated the ninth best city for men to live in according to Men's Health magazine. The criteria were health, quality of life, and fitness. In 2007, it was rated 11th out of 100, for auto safety. The criteria were observing speed limits, accident infrequency, and seat belt use. In 2008 it was ranked second out of 100 for greenest driving. Criteria included gasoline consumption and air quality. In 2008, the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention reported that Burlington ranks high among U.S. metropolitan areas by having the largest proportion of people 92%, who say they are in good or great health. The report went on to rate it best in exercise and lowest in obesity, diabetes, and other measures of ill health. In 2009, Children's Health magazine rated Burlington the best city in the country to raise a family. In 2010, the government banned smoking within 25 feet (7.6 meters) of the city's parks and recreational areas. Howard Center, headquartered in Burlington, provides social services to state residents and runs Vermont's first in the area's only methadone maintenance program, the Chittenden Clinic. Topic. Economy Burlington's economy centers on education, health services, trade, transportation, and utilities, and some manufacturing. In 2011, the city had an unemployment rate of 4.8%, which was the sixth lowest of all metro areas. Real wages were $39,980 in 2006 constant dollars and remained there to 2010. The state was $33,385, the nation, $36,871. In 2009, Moody's confirmed the city's bond rating at AA3. High quality, the second best rank, but in 2010, the city owned Burlington Telecom cable provider was unable to pay the city of Burlington $17 million it owed. As a result, Moody's downrated the debt for the city two notches to A2, upper medium. Moody's also downrated the credit rating for Burlington International Airport. Topic business and industry The largest employers in the city proper are the University of Vermont Medical Center formerly Fletcher Allen Health Care and the University of Vermont, employing 6,823 and 3,137 people, respectively. Other companies in Burlington include the G.S. Blodgett Company, one of the oldest and largest commercial oven companies in the country, which manufactures restaurant equipment. Its history dates back to the mid-19th century. 
General Electric develops software for the healthcare industry in South Burlington at the former headquarters of IDX Systems, which it purchased in 2006. General Dynamics Armament and Technical Products Division employs 450 workers locally. A solely owned subsidiary, the division is based here. Dealer.com, a leading automotive internet marketing company, employed about 1,000 employees as of 2017. Ben and Jerry's began in 1978 when Ben Cohen and Jerry Greenfield opened their first ice cream scoop shop in an old gas station in Burlington. Vermont Teddy Bear Company, whose founder started on a cart on a Burlington street, now ships custom teddy bears worldwide. Corporate headquarters located in Burlington include Burton Snowboards, Brugger's, Lake Champlain Chocolates, Rhino Foods, and Seventh Generation Inc. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Retailing and Tourism. One measure of economic activity is retail sales. Burlington was fifth in the state in 2007 with $242.2 million. The Church Street Marketplace, a four block pedestrian mall in the heart of the city, is the site of festivals throughout the year. Events such as the South End Art Hop and public galleries such as Pine Street Art Works provide a forum for the visual arts in the South End. The American Planning Association named the marketplace one of America's great public spaces for 2008. A Festival of Fools had an estimated 25,000 attendees at the marketplace in 2009. The Vermont Brewers Festival had 9,600 attendees in 2009, and the Giant Pumpkin Regatta and Festival had 5,000 attendees that same year. Saturday Night Live satirized the event. One of the largest year round farmers' markets in the state of Vermont is located in the city. Topic. Real estate In 2008, vacancy rates for office space reached 4.5%, high for the city, but low compared to the surrounding suburbs. Topic. Arts and culture Dragon boat races to benefit charity have been held in Lake Champlain in August since 2006. In 2009, there were approximately 2,000 participants on 86 teams. An annual first night community celebration of the arts on New Year's Eve was founded in 1983 with funding from the National Endowment on the Arts and Vermont Council on the Arts. Burlington was the third city to embrace the concept born in Boston. It ran for 35 years before shutting down in 2018. Burlington's own drag troupe, the House of LeMay, performs several shows a year, hosts the annual Winter is a Drag Ball and raises funds for numerous charities. The House of LeMay is the subject of the documentary, Slingbacks and Syrup, which premiered at the 2008 Vermont International Film Festival in Burlington. The Emily Post Institute, an etiquette organization, is headquartered here. Topic. Local music The city has, over the years, supported a number of local bands as various scenes waxed and waned, and has even launched a handful of national acts. The most famous of these is Fish, which originated at UVM circa 1983. Other acts with ties to the city include Modest Yahoo, Strange Folk, The Essex Green, R.A.Q., James Kachalka, The Jazz Mandolin Project, Pork Tornado, Anais Mitchell, Greg Davis, Kushik, Grace Potter and the Nocturnals, Dispatch, Prideen, Eugene Hutz of Gogol Bordello, Morgan Page, K.T. Tunstall, Rubblebucket, The Vacant Lots and Drowning Man. Twiddle has become quite a popular Burlington band, celebrating the second year of the Tumble Down Festival in July 2017. Topic. Local art The South End Art Hop is an annual event presented by the South End Arts and Business Association. Artists join businesses, artist studios, and galleries, which in turn open their doors to the public throughout the post-industrial section of Burlington, known as the South End. The first art hop in 1993 had a little more than 30 artists and a dozen sites participating. In 2008, over 600 artists showcased their works in over 100 sites throughout the south end of Burlington. 
The event takes place on the Friday and Saturday following Labor Day in September. The city has an arts department, Burlington City Arts, which serves many roles including cultural planning, education, showing contemporary art and hosting cultural events at the BCA Center. Burlington City Arts also runs a program in collaboration with UVM Medical Center, Art from the Heart, where patients have access to art supplies and devoted volunteer time. Public library The Fletcher Free Library at 235 College Street was established in 1873, endowed by Mary Martha Fletcher, the daughter of a local businessman, but outgrew its initial building on Church Street by 1901. A new building was constructed in 1901–04 with funds provided by industrialist and philanthropist Andrew Carnegie, making it the first of the four Carnegie libraries in the state. It was designed in the Beaux-Arts style by Walter R. B. Wilcox of Burlington, who won a competition to receive the commission. The building had major settling problems in 1973 where it had been built over a former railroad ravine, which had been improperly filled in, and the library's collection was moved elsewhere. The possible raising of the building was stopped by a citizens' committee, which successfully had it added to the National Register of Historic Places, and a grant allowed the stabilization and repair of the building. A new modern edition was completed in 1981, the largest public library in Vermont, and listed on the National Register of Historic Places. The Fletcher Free Library had a budget of over $1 million in 2002. It circulated more books, had more visitors, and had more computers than any other library in Vermont. In addition to its primary services as Burlington's public library, it is also a community center, a cultural resource for newly arrived immigrants to the Burlington area, and the city's only free public access computer center. Topic sites of interest Ethan Allen Homestead Museum Chittenden County Historical Society and Museum Echo, Leahy Center for Lake Champlain Robert Hull Fleming Museum at the University of Vermont Flynn Center for the Performing Arts The 1885 building of Ojavi Zedek, one of the oldest synagogue buildings still standing in the United States. Topic. Landmarks and buildings Topic. Historic buildings Many of Burlington's historic buildings and sites have been recognized by their inclusion on the National Register of Historic Places In addition to 28 buildings, three shipwrecks and the Burlington Breakwater, the city encompasses 17 historic districts. Some of Burlington's historic landmarks Tallest buildings Besides being the least populous U.S. city to be the most populous within its state, Burlington is also home to the shortest, tallest building in any of the 50 U.S. states, Decker Towers. The six tallest buildings in Burlington are Topic churches Churches in Burlington include the North Avenue Alliance Church, First Baptist Church, First Congregational Church, the Episcopal Cathedral Church of St. Paul, the First United Methodist Church, Christ Church Presbyterian, the Roman Catholic Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception, the Episcopal See for the Diocese of Burlington, and the Co-Cathedral of St. Joseph, the First Unitarian Universalist Society, the College Street Congregational Church United Church of Christ, the Burlington Church of Christ, and the Nondenominational Church at the well. The conservative Ojavi Zedek Synagogue is also located in the city, and there is an active meeting of the Religious Society of Friends Quakers. The Howard Mortuary Chapel in Lakeview Cemetery was built in 1882 as a gift to the city of Burlington from Hannah Louisa Howard, a local philanthropist. A native of the city, she was the daughter of John Howard, a successful Burlington hotelier. The chapel was designed in the High Victorian Gothic style by Alfred Benjamin Fisher, on cemetery grounds designed by E. C. Ryer in 1871. The Ira Allen Chapel on the grounds of the University of Vermont campus, was completed in 1926, and was designed in the Georgian Revival style by McKim, Mead and White. The chapel's flashing beacon provides a nighttime landmark for those approaching Burlington from Lake Champlain. 
The chapel is part of the University Green Historic District, both of the cathedrals in Burlington, the Episcopal Cathedral Church of St. Paul and the Roman Catholic Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception, are modern structures built after their predecessors were destroyed by arson fires in 1971–72. The Episcopal Cathedral was completed in 1973 and was designed by Burlington Associates now True in the Brutalist style, while the Roman Catholic Cathedral was built in 1974–77 and was designed by Edward Larrabee Barnes, with the park-like grounds designed by landscape architect Dan Kiley. Some of Burlington's notable churches The Cathedrals of Burlington Sports The Vermont Lake Monsters of the New York – Penn League, a Class A short season June to September minor league baseball team, were formerly called the Vermont Expos. The team changed its name in 2007 after its parent Major League Baseball club, the Montreal Expos of the National League, moved from Montreal to Washington, D.C. and became the Washington Nationals. In 2010, the Lake Monsters ended its 17-year association with the Expos, Nationals and became the Class A affiliate of the Oakland Athletics of the American League. The Lake Monsters play on the campus of the University of Vermont at Centennial Field. Burlington has a rich hockey history, and was the location of the first known international ice hockey match, held between the Montreal Crystals and employees of the Van Ness House, a local hotel, during the 1886 Burlington Winter Carnival. The University of Vermont's men's hockey team, the Catamounts, play their home games at the 4,007-seat Gutterson Field House on the UVM campus. A professional basketball franchise, the Vermont Frost Heaves, played half of their season international in the Sea the Team, which originally was part of the Amsisirican BT Ball Association, not to be confused with the 1970s-era Major Basketball League of the same name that merged with the National Basketball Association, moved to the Premier Basketball League in 2008 and split their regular season home games between Burlington and Barr. The Frost Heaves, owned by Sports Illustrated writer Alexander Wolfe, played their Burlington games at the Memorial Auditorium, on South Union Street, at the corner of Maine. However, the franchise folded in early 2011. The Vermont City Marathon has drawn thousands of competitors annually. A local Golden Gloves boxing tournament has been held annually since 1946. Burlington was a venue site for the 2012 International Ice Hockey Federation Women's World Championship. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Government. Burlington has a city council mayor form of government. Democrats and the Progressive Party make up the majority of the council. Miro Weinberger, the current mayor, is a Democrat who was first elected in 2012. The city council has 12 seats, which are currently occupied by five Democrats, three progressives, three independents, and one Republican. Current U.S. Senator and 2016 presidential candidate Bernie Sanders was the mayor of Burlington from 1981 to 1989. His election in 1981 unseated long-standing Mayor Gordon Paquette and drastically altered the political landscape of the city. Mayor Sanders created a government that was run by young progressives, including Peter Clavel, who was elected mayor of the city when Sanders stepped down to run for higher office. Peter Clavel, Burlington's longest-serving mayor, held the office from 1989 to 1993, and again from 1995 to 2006. In the 1980s, the successive re-elections of a self-proclaimed socialist drew attention from the national media. Sanders has dispelled the notion that his first victory, secured by a narrow margin, was just a fluke. The large transient student population votes in local, state, and national elections, resulting in a considerable impact on local elections. The city signed up 2,527 new voters in the six weeks from September 1, 2008, the highest number for that time frame in over nine years. The city was ranked average nationally in political involvement in 2008. Criteria included percentage registered to vote, percentage participating in most recent elections and campaign contributions. As a non-profit institution, the University of Vermont pays no real estate taxes, though like many other schools, it does make an annual payment in lieu of taxes. In 2007, the college agreed to raise this from $456,006 to $912,011 in 2010 plus a public works 
Supplement rising from $180,040 to $191,004 over the same time frame. The city maintains three parks on Lake Champlain. All three are free for public access, with two having parking fees. Topic: Education. Topic: Public schools. Burlington School District operates the city's public schools. Schools. Burlington High School, The Sustainability Academy at Lawrence Barnes Elementary, Edmonds Elementary School, named for George F. Edmonds, a U.S. Senator for 25 years, from 1866 to 1891, Edmonds Middle School, Hunt Middle School, Flynn Elementary, Champlain Elementary School, C. P. Smith Elementary, The Integrated Arts Academy at H. O. Wheeler Elementary Magnet Schools In Burlington, students have two choices of magnet schools, the Integrated Arts Academy at H.O. Wheeler IAA and the Sustainability Academy at Lawrence Barnes SA. <laughs> Private schools Christ the King School Mater Christi School Lake Champlain Waldorf School, The Renaissance School at Shelburne Farms, Vermont Commons School, Rock Point School. Topic: Universities and Colleges. The University of Vermont, UVM, and Champlain College are located in this college town. The UVM Medical Center is home to one of the ten most selective medical schools in the U.S., the UVM College of Medicine. The Community College of Vermont had a site located in Burlington until 2010 when a new building in the adjacent city of Winooski was constructed for the college. St. Michael's College and a satellite campus of Southern New Hampshire University are in the neighboring town of Colchester. Vermont Technical College also has a satellite campus in nearby Williston. Media Newspapers and other publications Burlington is the media center of northern and central Vermont. It is served by The Burlington Free Press, a daily newspaper delivered throughout Vermont Seven Days, a free weekly newspaper delivered in bulk to pick up points throughout the Burlington metropolitan area and central Vermont, emphasizing arts and culture. Vermont Business Magazine The Natural Philosopher, a monthly science news journal articulating primary literature in neuroscience, biochemistry, and genetics. The Natural Philosopher is a student-run publication based at the University of Vermont. Topic radio Major radio stations that are based in Burlington and serve the region, WBTZ The Buzz 99.9 .9 FM Modern Rock WCPV 101.3 ESPN 101.3 FM Sports WCVT 101 The One 101.7 FM Classic Album Tracks WEZF Star 92.9 92.9 FM Hot Adult Contemporary WIZN The Wizard 106.7 FM FM, Classic Rock WJOY 1230 AM Adult Standards WKOL Cool 105 105.1 FM Classic Hits WNCS and W227 AQ The Point 104.7 and 93.3 FM respectively Triple A Woco 98.9 FM Country WOXR Vermont Public Radio 90.9 FM Classical WRUV University of Vermont 90.1 FM Variety WTNN Eagle Country 97.5 FM WVMT 620 AM News Talk WVPS Vermont Public Radio 107.9 FM News and Information National Public Radio WWPV St Michael's College 92.5 FM Variety WXXX 95 5 FM Hit Music Station Topic Television 
There are five network-affiliated television stations that serve the Greater Burlington area. They include WFFF TV Channel 44, Fox, its sister station WVNY Channel 22, ABC, WPTZ Channel 5, NBC, with Me TV on DT3, its sister station WNNE Channel 31, CW, and WCAX TV Channel 3, CBS. All of the stations including WVNY and WNNE which share news departments with WFFF-TV and WPTZ, respectively, operate news departments. Although licensed to Burlington, WCAX is actually based in neighboring South Burlington, while WPTZ is based in Plattsburgh, New York with a news bureau in nearby Colchester. WFFF and WVNY are also based in Colchester, while WNNE is licensed to Montpelier. Comcast is the metro area's major cable television service provider, although residents within the Burlington city limits are also served by municipally owned Burlington Telecom. Infrastructure Transportation Topic. Bus Burlington is the central focus of Green Mountain Transit GMT, which provides bus service to and from surrounding municipalities. On June 15, 2011, the Chittenden County Transportation Authority announced that it had changed its charter, effective July 1, 2011, to allow municipalities outside Chittenden County to join CCTA as member communities, thereby allowing CCTA to become Vermont's first regional transit authority. As part of its expansion, the CCTA merged with the Green Mountain Transit Authority GMTA, which provided bus service in the Bar Montpelier area and surrounding communities in central Vermont. Greyhound provides intercity bus service from the Burlington International Airport to other communities in Vermont, and to Montreal's Gare d'Autocars de Montreal and Boston South Station and Logan International Airport. Premier Coaches Vermont Translines also provides intercity bus service between Burlington and Albany, New York along the U.S. Route 7 corridor in a partnership with Greyhound, also from the Burlington International Airport. Megabus provides non-stop service between Burlington and Boston, and service to New York City by two routes, with intermediate stops in Saratoga Springs, New York, or in Amherst, Massachusetts and Hartford, Connecticut. Rail From the late 19th century to 1953, the Rutland Railroad provided passenger service on the Green Mountain Flyer and the Mount Royal from Burlington to Chatham, New York in Columbia County, with connecting service to New York City via the New York Central Railroad. The last passenger train to run north via the Burlington Tunnel to Alberg, a town in the northwest extremity of Vermont, was in June 1938. From 1916, Rutland Railroad service was provided at the New Union Station on the Lake Champlain waterfront. From 2000 to 2003, the Champlain Flyer was a commuter service from Burlington south to the town of Charlotte, Vermont. Since the closure of the Champlain Flyer, Burlington has had no active railroad connections. An Amtrak station is located 7 miles 11 kilometers away in the village of Essex Junction, Vermont. In January 2013, Vermont Governor Peter Shumlin proposed extending the Ethan Allen Express from Rutland, Vermont to Burlington's Union Station. The proposal would create a regional rail corridor connecting Albany, New York, Saratoga Springs, New York, Rutland, and Burlington, which have combined metro populations of around 1.25 million inhabitants. Construction is underway to complete this extension by 2021 or 2022. Air Air carriers at Burlington International Airport BTV provide the area with commercial service to major regional hubs and international airports. While scheduled carriers have not traditionally offered scheduled commercial flights to destinations outside the United States, there is a customs port of entry for unscheduled flights. Since December 2011, the only available international commercial flights for BTV have been via Porter Airlines winter seasonal service to and from Billy Bishop Airport in Toronto. Topic: 
Topic: <laughs> Major roads. Burlington is served by one major interstate highway, along with its spur route into the southern part of the city, and is at the junction of two U.S. highways. Several Vermont state highways also provide routes into and through the Burlington area. Interstate 89 Though it does not directly enter the Burlington city limits, I-89 has interchanges in neighboring South Burlington, Winooski, and Colchester that provide access to downtown. Interstate 189 I-189 connects I-89 in South Burlington to US-7 at the southern end of Burlington. US Route 2 is the main east-west route entering Burlington. After entering the city from the east, westbound US-2 turns north to run concurrently with US-7 towards Winooski and Colchester. The intersection with Interstate 89 is used by 42,000 cars daily. US Route 7 is the main north-south route through Burlington. Northbound US-7 joins westbound US-2 in downtown Burlington, and the two routes run concurrently north to Colchester. Vermont Route 127 connects downtown and the Old North End with the New North End and the town of Colchester. Throughout the New North End, VT 127 is a limited access highway officially named the Winooski Valley Parkway, though commonly known as the Burlington Beltline. <laughs> Ferry service Burlington is the headquarters of the Lake Champlain Transportation Company, a privately held company that offers ferry service for the North Country of New York State and the Champlain Valley region of Vermont. Summer seasonal service is available from Burlington's King Street Dock to Port Kent, New York. One line of year-round 24-hour service is provided from the nearby town of Grand Isle, Vermont to Plattsburgh, New York, with another line of daily service from Charlotte, Vermont to Essex, New York. Internet The city has municipal fiber broadband, which provides telephone, broadband internet, and television. In 2008, cable management tried to drop Al Jazeera English from the lineup. This was successfully thwarted by protesters and the station was, in 2009, one of three small cable operators in the nation to carry this channel. Topic. Electricity Like many Vermont municipalities, Burlington owns its own power company, Burlington Electric Department. In 2009, the department announced that it would purchase 40% of the output of the 40 MW Sheffield, Vermont wind generated electricity when it became available. Topic. Notable people Topic. International relations Topic. Sister and friendship cities The sister cities of Burlington Burlington's friendship cities Nishinomaya, Hyogo Prefecture, Japan Topic. Sister lakes Burlington and other communities surrounding Lake Champlain has sister lake relationships with communities around these lakes Lake Ored, straddling the border of Albania and Macedonia Lake Toba, Sumatra, Indonesia Topic In popular culture Burlington was a filming location for the films Me, Myself and Irene 2000 and What Lies Beneath 2000. Topic. See also Burlington Vermont Portal Five Sisters Burlington Vermont equals equals notes <laughs>